Hi friends, it is finally, officially, actually spring and I've just been itching to take some time to play around with my wardrobe and come up with some fun spring outfits. So today I played dress up and put together over 20 outfits for spring that I think would emanate cool RC weird girl vibes to any stranger I might pass on the street, which is kind of always the goal. Okay, let's get into it. So for this video, I wanted to focus on styling the same pieces multiple ways because I find that sort of repetition to be a fun creative challenge and I think it could be useful for you all too. Let me know what you all think of this sort of format in the comments. But the first piece we are styling is this black baby doll midi dress. So first I wanted to try layering something under this dress and I thought my oversized collar blouse was a really fun contrast. However, it is giving a slightly more old-timey fall Salem witch trials vibe on its own. So to make it more relaxed and springy, I added my colorful little butterfly hair clips. I am so into adding these to everything right now. They just make every look more more fun. And then we have these fisherman sandals and green tote for some earthy colors and super relaxed touches that make this long dress and big collar look a little more playful. Next, I thought it would be fun to try layering something over this dress too. So first, to give it a little more definition and a tougher accent, I put on my harness because then I knew I wanted to add this flowy little pink sleep top. This vintage top is amazing, but I always struggle to style it. I think because it adds a lot of volume around my torso, but I think wearing it open is a great way to make it look more relaxed and show the shape underneath a little more. Then to finish it off with some more structured, tougher accents, we of course have my go-to loafers and a beret. Finally, for my third look with this dress, I wanted to layer it with a skirt, one of my favorite looks. So I put this black and white midi skirt on top with the dress perfectly peeking out at the bottom. And since this is already kind of a dramatic combo, I thought why not go all out with my big poofy sleeve sheer blouse layered on top. I also have white sandals to keep it light and complete this very neutral yet maximalist sort of ethereal spring look. Oh, and for one more bonus look, I also thought this would be cute with my green house coat thrown over the top, so I tried that in place of the sheer blouse, and I think it creates a really fun, casual look. I am 100% in favor of house coats as fashion. So, like I said, I struggle with this pink vintage sleep top, so I wanted to challenge myself to style that piece into a couple outfits next. We already did the first one with that black dress, but then I wanted to try it over a button-up, so I went with my purple paisley one with a black midi skirt. I tried to make it work with a fun little bag and my puffy headband, but honestly, I thought I was going to have to chalk this one up as a failed attempt. The silhouette of the two tops together just wasn't working for me, but then I decided to play around with it a little more, roll up the sleeves of the button-up, and tie the the pink top in the front and suddenly the two tops looked so much more natural together the silhouettes became way more similar in a way that looked very harmonious to me and now i'm super into this for my last outfit with this top i realized i had never tried layering it under something so i put my trusty favorite brown suede vest on top and instantly fell in love. I cannot believe I had never thought of this before. On the bottom, I switched to white pants and sandals for a very bright and fresh spring look. And then just to add a little more color and character, this outfit was just calling for my fish bag and this fabulous straw hat on top for such a cute, whimsical vibe. This is honestly one of my favorite new combos I came up with in this video. I can't wait to wear this. All right, the next piece we are styling is this super cute little blue sundress. And for this look, I really had this photo in mind. I love the blue paired with pink and red, such a delicious color combo. So I went with these red sandals and earrings, a pink bag, and then to add another layer and fill out that color palette even more, I added this lavender tank top layered over the top. I love that this look shows how you can be really feminine with the silhouette while also being really playful and fun with the colors. That said, I think this combo was a little too feminine for my own style it just didn't really feel like me so i swapped the tank top for of course an oversized vest what else would i do to make an outfit feel more like me this adds a boxy utilitarian element that makes it all a little more casual and androgynous which is much more my style and i like that the blue still keeps the color palette that i loved in the original for our last blue dress outfit, we're going a little more straight up playful and early 2000s inspired with the butterfly clips and chunky sandals. And then I thought the dress would be super cute peeking out from under this amazing baby doll cut khaki raincoat. I love how the ruffled skirt is visible with the double zipper situation. And then just to really lean into the sort of sporty utility vibe of the jacket, we of course have my yellow lens sunglasses topping it all off. This is such a fun combination of girly and utilitarian, all with this sort of Y2K undertone. It feels like something a slightly more experimental brat style would wear, which is a win to me. All right, the next piece we are focusing. <laughs> 
The next piece we are focusing on is the flannel. The flannel has definitely been neglected in recent fashion years. It was just such a 2010s staple, but I have been rediscovering the value of my old favorites recently. So I'm gonna show you how I would style them for 2023. Also, I feel like whenever I think I have a unique idea in fashion, I'm never the only one. So based on that alone, I feel like flannels are gonna make a comeback soon. So for my first flannel look, I'm taking this oversized one and just styling it as a very large shirt, but I'm sort of half tucking it into my black midi skirt on one side so it doesn't completely swallow me. For shoes, I went with my lug sole loafers to match the sort of grungy 90s energy this outfit was giving. And then I thought it would be fun to combine that with some more fun, playful 90s inspired elements like the butterfly clips and chunky sort of choker necklace. Finally, I topped it off with these chunky purple earrings and a sling bag to match the shirt and create a very effortlessly funky and cool energy. Next up, we are swapping in this green, slightly less baggy flannel, and because flannels are normally always layered over things, this time we're going to layer it under my blue quilted vest. We also have this cargo mini skirt on the bottom, so to keep with that sort of sporty utility vibe, I added my white sneakers for shoes, and then I wanted to lean into that style even more with accessories, so I added this blue beanie and my yellow lens sunglasses. I love the variation of utilitarian elements in this look that sort of range from more outdoorsy to more street style. It just makes me feel very cool and I think it definitely makes the flannel feel updated. Finally, of course, we have to layer the flannel on top of an outfit, but we're going to do a non-grungy take on this. I mean, I love grungy style, but just to do something different. We are taking it in a much more whimsical direction here with these cropped brown pants, green mesh top, and brown quilted vest with the cutest little tie front bow. Now, when we layer that green flannel on top, it's giving less 2010s alt high schooler and more frog and toad the dream. To lean into that cute, whimsical, naturey vibe even more, we have these brown fisherman sandals for shoes, my little fluffy brown bucket hat on top, and my cicada earrings to just really commit to the frog and toad vibes. I topped it off with my striped tote to add another pattern and more green in there, and now we have the sweetest little whimsical woodsy outfit that I think would actually be perfect for both spring and fall. All right, next up, I wanted to play more with that green mesh top, but I still really had those 90s slash early 2000s vibes in my brain, so I decided to layer it under my favorite graphic tee with this super funky floral mini skirt, plus a butterfly clip claw clip combo hairstyle that all together is somehow giving 10 Things I Hate About You, Janice Ian, and Lizzie McGuire all at once. I'm in love. Of course, I topped it off with my white shoulder bag, black chunky sandals, and chunky beaded necklace. We're fully committing to the time period theme here, and I actually love this so much. I've never really been a huge 2000s fashion person, but I think those more casual, androgynous, playful elements that are more late 90s Y2K definitely fit into my style. Okay, so I was going to use this green mesh top one more time to transition to our next piece, this blue vintage 80s dress I recently thrift flipped. But I'm going to tell you right now, I did end up removing the green mesh top by the end of this outfit. My goal with this outfit was to casualify this very extra dress. And my wonderful friend Kathleen just made a great video about this on her channel, Kathleen Illustrated, about how to dress down your dressy pieces. So we're gonna follow her methods for this outfit. I will also link that video right here if you wanna check it out. Her first suggestion was using your hair and your shoes to dress down something formal in the middle. So I went in strong by layering some fun yellow socks with some fun patterned sheer socks over them, which kind of covers up the yellow on camera, but you could see it in real life. Then for shoes, I went with my loafers again. I like how the chunkiness is casual, but they're still polished enough to not look totally dissonant. It was at this point that I removed the green top. It just didn't fit with the color palette. But then to make my hair casual too, I added this little bandana, which does match the color palette with the pink Pink, yellow and blue of the socks and the dress. Finally, I wanted to add some other layer just to make it more of an outfit and again, make it more casual. So I threw on this gray sort of tunic sweater vest, which I think actually looks super cool with this dress. I don't know if it quite works with the socks and hair we already have here, but it was really fun to play around with and definitely gave me some more ideas for future styling. I didn't want to try to do too much with this dress, but I did decide to go for one more look, specifically because I really wanted to try styling it like this outfit from Jasmine Rogers, that curly top on Instagram, because tucking in the bubble hem dress in the front and wearing it as a top, brilliant, genius, I'm obsessed, 
I had to try it. So my first step was putting on this black midi skirt again and tucking the dress into it in the front. And I'm already so obsessed with this. I love it so much. Jasmine is literally a genius. Then I added my loafers again. They are my emotional support chunky shoes. And then just to really embrace the color of the inspo outfit, I added this funky colorful pattern tank top on top, which I absolutely love with this. I don't know where I'm wearing this outfit, but I'm super into it. I'm definitely still not totally confident in my ability to style this dress, but this was really fun and I'm excited to try to do more with it in the future. So let me know if you guys want to see me try to do more looks with this piece. Okay, now we are toning it back down with this super simple black button-up shirt dress. I love how versatile this type of dress is, so I wanted to style it in a few different ways. For my first outfit, I was very inspired by this Pinterest photo because I have that knit tunic vest from earlier, but I had never thought of layering it over this dress, so that was my first step. Then I added my white sneakers on the bottom for that casual street style vibe, and of course, I had to add in a little color and some accessories, so I threw on my green striped tote bag and a green baseball cap to match and reiterate that super casual vibe. I have to say, I don't know if this layering combo creates my favorite silhouette of all time. I think the longer look in the photo is much smoother looking, but I did feel very cool in this outfit, and I'm definitely going to try layering more other pieces over this dress now. For the next look with this dress, we're layering pants under it and then wearing it half open, which is one of my favorite styling combos for button-up dresses. Next, I'm adding another sleeveless button-up dress over the top worn open as sort of a long vest. And I honestly already love this look. I would 100% wear this as is. But just to add some more fun details, I also threw on some patterned socks, my fisherman sandals. I love how these sandals look with socks. And I added this colorful scarf and my yellow lens sunglasses because I apparently cannot resist adding them to everything every outfit. For our last button-up dress outfit, we're styling it open as a jacket over a graphic tee and this fabulous floral midi skirt. To keep it casual, I just went with white sneakers on the bottom, and then for the bag, I was torn between this amazing little fortune cookie bag, which is a little more whimsical, and this white leather shoulder bag, which feels more like casual cool girl vibes. <laughs> I think realistically, I'm more likely to wear the second one, but let me know which you prefer in the comments. That look was a perfect transition into our final piece for this video, this amazing floral midi skirt. And for our next look, I really wanted to pair it with this little jersey top. I've been seeing tons of jerseys paired with girly skirts lately, and I love it. So I was excited to try it here, and I think it's so fun. I kept the sneakers on the bottom to match the casual sporty top, and then to match the frilly skirt, I added my pink ruffle tote bag. Finally, you know I couldn't resist adding my yellow lens sunglasses, and now we have a super easy, comfy, yet very fast fashion girly type outfit. I love this sort of mismatching for a low effort but high impact outfit and I think this is so fun. I also thought this skirt would be amazing with this green stripe button up on top, truly the ultimate spring vibe, especially with the hair clips to add an extra playful element. But for the final look, I wanted to show you how I would style it like the vibe and feeling of spring when the weather is still not yet spring. You know, I know it's still cold for a lot of us. So we are just layering this outfit we have with a funky graphic sweater on top. I embroidered this one myself, but any fun colored or graphic sweater would be great with this. And then on top, we're adding a spring classic, this oversized trench coat. Then I just topped it off with this little white bag and voila, so fun, but still so cozy. I really love this outfit. I need to leave my house more so I can wear this somewhere. Please tell me in the comments what you thought of this video format. Do we like it? Would we prefer more variation? I also have a whole little playlist of other cool artsy weird girl outfits videos that you can watch right here if you are interested. Oh, and I heard if you do watch another video, leave a comment and subscribe. You will suddenly be struck with a multitude of ways to style that one piece in your wardrobe that you always struggle with.